a mental typical teenager. I had this like anxiety and stress of like school, chess, uh, between school and extracurricular activities. innovations and mental health anxiety management. Healthcare innovations can be defined as a new improved idea in medical care such as mRNA vaccine. Mental health anxiety management is the process of dealing with the feeling of nervousness in regard with psychological and emotional well-being. Next is our problem statement. The first problem statement is how far have the healthcare innovations have been improvised. Second, how effective is the mental health anxiety management among students? Other than that, we also have our objectives. The first objective is to identify the establishment of healthcare innovations. Second, to analyze how severe has the mental health anxiety affected the students in Malaysia. Besides objectives, we also have our significance of study. The first significance is, do students realize about healthcare innovations? Second, do students know that COVID-19 has brought an impetus on healthcare innovations? Third, do students realize that mental health anxiety is now becoming dominant? And the last one, are students well prepared with mental health anxiety management? We managed to gain some benefits. The first benefit is, students can clarify with detail about healthcare. Second, students are able to develop innovative thinking. Third, students are aware of the mental health anxiety. And the last one, students are able to manage mental health anxiety. Ladies and gentlemen, in this research, we use two methods which are questionnaire and internet-based method. The questionnaire was conducted to 100 respondents with different backgrounds. Students are chosen for this research because they are the future leaders and to instill this knowledge in them is crucial. Second, which is internet-based method, where we use Twitter, Instagram, and Sina Haryan to get along with the latest news. We have assembled the responses in this pie chart that consists of several races in Malaysia. We can see that 63% of them are Malay, 17% of them are Chinese, 14% are Indians, and the balance 6% belong to other races. I believe that all of you must be eager to know the results of our survey. We have separated the results into several pie charts. The first pie chart shows people who agree that COVID-19 has catalyzed innovation in healthcare. We can see that 72% of them agreed with this statement, while 28% of them disagreed. The second pie chart contains people who agree that Malaysia's healthcare is sufficient to fight COVID-19. Clearly, 63% of them voted for yes, while 37% of them voted for no. The third pie chart shows people who have experienced anxiety during this pandemic. Clearly, 71% of them admitted they have experienced anxiety, while 29% of them said they have never experienced anxiety during the pandemic. The last pie chart contains people who agree that anxiety is a major problem during this pandemic. In this view, we can see that 86% of them voted for yes, while 14% of them voted for no. We have prepared a bar chart that indicates the percentage of respondents against severity of anxiety. It happens that 29% of them faced zero anxiety, 19% of them encountered mild, while 33% of them encountered moderate anxiety, and the last 90% belong to the ones who faced severe anxiety. Now, we have come to the healthcare innovations and how it improves current situation. First, mRNA vaccine. One of the main producers of this type of vaccine is Pfizer. For your information, 70% of the vaccines used for national COVID-19 immunization program is from Pfizer. This vaccine helps us to achieve herd immunity faster and also to reduce the death rate. Next is applications and devices. The application that we are using now is called as MySajastra. This app gives you the latest information about COVID-19. The device that we are using now is oximeter, which measures the blood oxygen level in your body. This is very crucial for everyday use because low oxygen level in body may be linked with having COVID-19. With these applications and devices, we can be aware about COVID-19 more. 
The last one is over-the-counter rapid antigen test kit. This thing only needs your saliva or nasal mucus for it to detect whether you have COVID-19 or not. This thing is very easy and quick to use. So by having this, we can identify COVID-19 in early stage. Other than that, actions of decent mental health anxiety management and how it ameliorates mental health. First, set a routine. A psychology professor, Deborah Serrani, had said that unstructured schedules can lead to anxiety or depression. So, by having a structured daily routine, we can stop anxiety and depression from happening. Second, exercise and eat healthy. By exercising, we can improve our self-esteem and also our brain's cognitive function. By eating healthily, meaning that we increase the consumption of fruits and vegetables that contains vitamin C, it can also reduce anxiety. The last one is to stay connected with people. Whether it's virtually or physically, just keep connected with people because it can help us manage stress and also avoid unhealthy coping mechanisms such as self-harm. Unfortunately, there are a few challenges we must face. First, solving inadequacy of healthcare equipment while advancing innovations. And second, disseminating mental health anxiety management knowledge to reduce mental illnesses induced during this pandemic. Luckily, we have proposed a few solutions. Firstly, is to promote targeted programs via media, and second, to tighten the budget for healthcare and organizations. By doing this, we can produce innovative and optimistic human capitals, enhance health system, and also improve citizens' knowledge in managing mental health. There are a few programs that should be enlivened. First, Innovation World Cup Series Medica Startup Competition. This competition takes the connected medical innovation to an advanced level. Then, these innovations will later be used to ease the works in the healthcare sector. Next, we have World Suicide Prevention Day or WSPD. This day inspires light and confidence into humans. And it also inculcates the solution to suicide by raising awareness about mental health. What's more, future plans must be done in order to get more accurate data. First, by expanding the area of research to adults. Second, observing the problems deeper. And lastly, to suggest a problem by connecting every aspect. As a conclusion, we have seen that COVID-19 has given biggest impacts in our daily life. From the bright side, we can see that COVID-19 has induced the need of innovation, that we are seeing many innovations being created. However, the fact that COVID-19 has worsened physical and mental health cannot be resisted. Last words from us, we hope that everyone can play their roles to manifest healthy citizens and better healthcare in future. That's all from our team. Thank you for watching.